so today we're doing the brakes on the box truck and the exhaust on the box truck. Um, the boys are doing the brakes. I'm doing the exhaust. They're using an air, what is this, air operated brake leader and refill kit to do the brakes. If you guys don't remember when we brought the box truck home, we said that the brakes were kind of wonky and squishy. They work, but they weren't great. You had to press them three times to get it solid. So um, we're gonna work on those things today. Like I said, they're on brakes, I'm on exhaust. The right way. That's why I was telling you to put it on just that way. Okay, now screw that on. Screw the other one tight. The front part. Yeah. Get that. That's good. You got it? Yeah. Okay. So we're bleeding the brakes on Katusa today. That's one of the things the boys are doing. And then I get to work on the exhaust system today. Have fun. Yeah, I know. That's why I go under the cars. I would have done uh, it. You got the wrenches and everything? Yeah, they're right there by the side. Okay. Except so, for the sockets underneath it. They've got this nifty little tool to kind of make it easier. That we picked up at Harbor Freight. In hopes to kind of simplify this process a little bit. Instead of, and hopefully not take quite as long and get a better quality out of it. So, that's what we're doing right now. I can shit, huh? literally shit up underneath here. That's that awesome. Works? It's bigger than a 10. It's bigger? Yeah. Good. Here. 11. 10, 16, 11. Got it. Okay. Br try to break it. Can't get a good angle on it. There we go. Please ignore the spider webs, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very old truck. Okay, Lennox. Yellow. Yellow. So we got the back ones done, now we're doing the fronts? Yes. We had to refill the brake. Hey, do fluid. me a favor real quick before you put that on. Yeah. Push that bastard on the back of the brake. Yeah. Okay, okay, alright. Why? Because the master cylinder being off pulls the brake pedal all the way down to the floor. <laughs> that was fun. So, always make sure master cylinder completely attached, right? It's... Well, yeah, but we can't have the master cylinder attached with this. With the setup on this, because the master cylinder goes up Gets underneath, up the, underneath lip that the firewall, lip. okay, and we can't get the refill uh, jug attached to the master cylinder. What is like that? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Huh? All right. Let's do the fronts. Okay. So I'm in Katusa. We are still trying to get the brake split. Um, we took it out once and realized that hey, you know what? The vacuum thing is great and all, but you still got to pump the brake. I got it. So we're doing that, hoping we can get the last of the air out of it. Right now, Lincoln's a little nervous about me driving this thing. Um, and this is the one I'm supposed to drive. So we're hoping that we can get these things addressed. Give him a little comfort because there is no power steering in this. Um, there never was. So it's not like we can just fix a power steering pump. So I'm going to finish pumping the brakes. The kiddo is, as you guys can see, he is right there holding the, he's holding the extra fluid, which we were looking like we're almost out, and I got air in the lines again. So, we're working on it, we'll get there. All right, Lincoln is under the car with the uh, other end of this thing. So, I know how to drive without power steering. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, I got it. I got your arm. This. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. I'm going. And now we. Alright, 
looks like a lot better. Alrighty. So boys, what'd you get on day? We bled the brakes of Katusa, so that was fun. Uh, realized we also need a crawler to get underneath the, uh, or a creeper to get underneath the uh, RV. For dad? Yeah, for both of us. Yeah. You? What's wrong with you? I skateboard's too high. For oh, his skateboard's too high. I'm sitting there and getting under that exhaust pipe. My nose is scraping the exhaust pipe every time I go under it. Oh, okay. What happened to your hands? You show me your hands? No. Show uh, me your hands. I helped dad uh, crawl through the windows. Show me your hands. It's funny. Mom watches these videos. <laughs> it's going to wash off. We use black clock on the windows on the Titanic. Because it's trimmed in black, so we wanted to make sure the color stayed the same. Unfortunately, the kid didn't put gloves on. <laughs> and so now he's stained his hands. But I keep telling him he'll be gone in a day or two, but he doesn't believe me. He's wearing. After bleeding the brakes and take her for a ride, she did what she did to us on the side of 49. She said she don't want to go nowhere. She then done. we traced it back and realized there ain't no fuel coming up through the fuel filter. So what if we ordered for coming in next week to get done? Pump, plugs, wires, distributor. Distributor cap. Then uh, I got water pump, alternator. Uh, what else I got? That's oh, pretty Oreo. Uh, Squirrel. Water, no, Oreo. <laughs> um, water pump, alternator. I don't remember what else. Overall today, I think it was pretty, we had a pretty good day. We got, we did get things accomplished. We just didn't get it going as well as we would have liked. No. We would have liked the truck to start and run consistently, but um, not much we can do about that. Just got to be patient. So little bits at a time. Everybody's got jobs. 